Hey guys, the no solution case video here, but I strongly, strongly recommend that you watch the video on the one solution case because in that video, I start with a broader discussion on uh, solving congruence equations. So that general discussion will give you a bird's eye view when approaching congruence equations. And one of the things we said in that general discussion um, in the one solution video is what's written up here, which is that this equation has solutions if and only if the greatest common divisor of A and N divides B. Um, this vertical bar means divides. Um, so yeah, we need the greatest common divisor of A and N to divide B in order for us to say that this has a solution. Um, obviously, if the greatest common divisor of A and N does not divide B, then we have no solutions. So it's easy to see how we're going to construct an example, yeah? Uh, here's one example, which is 3x is congruent to 2 mod 9. This has no solutions. Uh, and the reason is because the greatest common divisor of 3 and 9, which is 3, does not divide 2. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. But um, if you have a hard time just trusting this statement, how can you show that this has no solutions? Well, one way is to try uh, different integer values of x and see that you'll fail every single time. But a more profound way to show that this has no solutions is um, to do the following, which is recall that A is congruent to B mod N um, can be translated into an equation um, that says A is equal to B more than a multiple of N, where K is an integer, yeah? And of course, um, a, B, N, and X are all integers since we're working in modular arithmetic. And this means integers, if you, in case you didn't know. So here I'm saying K is a member of the integers. So yeah, what I'm saying is this uh, always implies, and this means implies, but yeah, this always implies this. Okay, cool. So then equipped with this translation, we can write that this always implies um, the 3x is equal to 2 more than a multiple of 9, where again, k is a member of the integers. Okay, cool. But then we can translate this equation to read um, as follows, which is 3x minus 9k is equal to 2. But then on the left side of this equation, we can factor out a 3. And when we do, we can write 3 times x minus 3k is equal to 2. Now we already said x has to be an integer and k has to be an integer and therefore x minus 3k has to be an integer. So this left side says 3 times an integer. That means the left side is a multiple of 3 because every multiple of 3 can be written as 3 times an integer. But how can a multiple of 3 equal 2? Well it can't and therefore we just showed that this equation has no solutions. Yeah? Alright, cool. Uh, keep watching and um, videos to come on uh, the many solution case, but I already have videos out on the Chinese remainder theorem, which helps you solve uh, a system of congruence equations. So check out uh, my videos on the Chinese remainder theorem. Yeah. All right. Cool. Keep watching.